Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Here we have Fabiano Caruana as white and Boz Garfand as black in the Chess Olympiads in Georgia 2018. Here Garfand played F takes E5. Uh, this looks like a bit of a positional mistake since it ruins his pawn structure, but there is an idea. Bishop H6, uh, Rook takes F3, sacrificing the exchange. G take, uh, Bishop takes G7, sorry. King takes G7, now G takes F3. White's won the exchange, but f3, f2, h3 are quite weak, his king's quite weak. Black has some nice squares for his minor pieces, for example, f5 for the bishop here. On f5, the bishop cannot be attacked by pawn. However, black's quite weak on the dark squares now. e5 is still weak, and yes, in particular, white trading off the bishop on g7 has weakened black on the dark squares. Uh, bishop takes h3 by Galfand, rook takes e5, e6, and rook g5. Maneuver into g3 where it defends the king side. Queen f6, rook g3, bishop f5, king to g2, uh, h5. Quite aggressive, thinking about h4. The only drawback is it defends, or it doesn't defend g6 anymore. Rook h1, rook h8, and knight e4. Looking at the dark squares. Yeah, as I said before, they're quite weak. Queen takes b2. Winning a pawn, but the queen's kind of out on a limb here. Black's king is looking quite vulnerable, and it will take. It will. Black will have to spend some time bringing the queen back. Uh, so Karana played queen f4. There was actually an interesting move here. Queen g5, threatening queen e7. Black would play knight d5 to stop this, but now c3, blocking the queen's defense up the diagonal with this pawn on c3. Black does uh, have an idea here. h4, and after rook takes h4. Rook takes h4, queen takes h4, now there's ideas of knight e3 check, but doesn't quite work immediately. If knight e3 check, king h2, bishop takes e4, this looks quite strong, because after say f takes e4, we have queen takes f2, but why is rook h3 defending f2 and also having big threats up the h-file, so that's quite a nice in-between move. But anyway, uh, Caruana played queen f4, and knight d5, queen d6, so yeah, penetration on the dark squares here. Now e5 by Galfan, probably with aggressive intentions. However, there are some drawbacks to this move, some pretty big drawbacks. Now g6 is very weak. The queen has been opened up to attack it after e5. And also, this queen on b2 has been blocked from defending up the diagonal. And Karana actually missed quite a big opportunity here, rook g1, and there isn't really any good way to stop king h2 and just take on g6. For example, h4, rook takes g6, a nice little sack for vice, rook, bishop takes g6, king h2, rook h6, and c4. And yeah, white's just winning here, because for example, if the knight moves, just queen e7. So anyway, Karana played rook h4 rather than rook g1. And now queen d4. I think the idea is to play knight f4 check here. And get queen trade, which would be quite good for black. As his king's very weak, and when your king's weak, a queen trade is usually quite good. However, Karana just played king g1. And now knight f4 doesn't come with check anymore, so it doesn't work. And white has a huge threat of... Uh, c3 here and if we just play a nothing move for black here a6 just to show you what c3 does yeah c3 here and white or black's queen is attacked and if he takes on c3 queen e7 is actually just going to be mate after king h6 um, rook takes h5 here and if g takes we have queen g7 and if the queen moves away after c3 just queen takes e5 looks quite devastating so after king g1, rook f8 by Garfand, and the idea is now c3 doesn't work, because after knight takes c3, queen e7, rook f7 defends. But the problem is after rook f8, we have rook takes h5. Uh, rook f8 left the h-pawn unguarded. Uh, the pawn can't take due to this pin. So bishop takes e4 by Garfand, but the king's just a bit too weak here. Uh, queen d7 check, and there's just not enough defenders. King f6, queen takes c6, king g7, queen d7 check. Uh, key point is that after rook f7, we have rook h7, and this is going to be mate again. 
just to put that on the board. So yes, yeah, so the queen d7 check, king f6, and now f takes e4, and there's just too many threats against the black king. For example, uh, g takes h5 here, just queen f5 check, and this is going to be made. Like this. Um, so yes, g takes h5 doesn't work, so Galfan tried knight f4, but... Now there's a mate after rook f5, uh, g takes f5, queen takes f5, king e7, uh, rook g7, and this is just mating. Um, for example, uh, here Garfan resigned. If king e8, then queen c8, queen d8, queen c6, queen d7, queen takes d7. If king d6, queen d7, checkmate. And finally, if king uh, sorry, if king d8, then queen takes f8, checkmate. So yes, a very interesting exchange sacrifice by Garfand. Uh, yes, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy, leave a dislike. Uh, bye.